some beards. Run birds, run! <laughs> I also see some amber hunters. Let's check it out if they are finding anything. If they do, maybe it's worth checking out at night. Huh, he left one for me. <laughs> Guys, look how many birds, what they could possibly wait for, and look how many people are, are there, and how many birds are there. <laughs> there is amber. It's okay, I don't have any equipment to catch right now. I will go check it out, and we will return at night with UV lights, so I'm not worried. Look at this, the debris is fantastic, it's the kind of stuff you want. And there is so many people, they're, they're catching something for sure. I will go check out what they're catching and we will have to sprint to the car and get some rest before the night. Fascinating, so many people, so many birds. But my car is like 10 kilometers away, god damn it. This is exactly the stuff you want. Yeah, so I'm back from fossil hunting and I came across a lot of people catching amber and it's getting dark pretty soon so I won't be resting, I'm going straight back and getting my, you know, net and, you know, wetsuit and everything and I'm going for amber hunting of course I will be recording see you there ah, by the way, I got really lucky uh, I was away from my car for like 10 kilometers walking by the beach looking for fossils and in that place where people was amber hunting uh, I managed to, you know, get to know one guy very nice Polish guy uh, I talked to him a little uh, we get to know each other <laughs> and he just... he was with a car and he took me to my car so I didn't have to walk 10 kilometers back so I'm really grateful for Krzysztof Krzysztof, Krzysztof, thank you very much So I took my small net it will be getting dark pretty shortly i have my uv light with me and we're going to hunt for some ember once again let's hope this time i can catch at least few big pieces or maybe at least one bigger one please god solve ember bless me they are working like the bees and i'm gonna join them in the fun Ember, Ember, where are you? Come to me, baby! All the action was taking place in the same place, maybe 10 or 20 meters from one side to another. I didn't go anywhere else, because all the debris and the birds were, were here. So it takes quite a skill uh, and trained eye to spot the ember in all this debris during the day. I was having quite a tough time. Very often when I was spotting the piece in the debris, I wasn't fast enough to react and catch it. It was really frustrating. After about half an hour, 
I, my eyes got used to it and I started catching some ember. I swear to god I saw something. Looks like I was wrong. Tiny pieces, eh, at least something, right? There it is. Because there was a lot of people, the competition was really big that day. I didn't have the time to rest or inspect the pieces I was catching. And I couldn't leave my camera to film myself from the side. That's why everything was from a um, perspective. <laughs> God damn it, come to me. Uh, let's take the tiny uh, ones out. You could call it beginner's mistakes. At this point I was getting quite anxious without getting any single, like, decent piece. This is all I can catch. piece of plastic Patience and dedication in the end always pays off I'm sure of it I got lucky. I didn't catch it. It was on top of uh, the stuff. This is the piece. From that moment, I was really happy with the piece. As you can, as you saw, I was li literally speechless. So I wasn't lucky recording how I get it. I wanted to turn off my camera to preserve a little bit of battery. And <laughs> the moment I was turning it off, I saw it, and you know. <laughs> My mind went blank and I just turned off my camera when I was running to pick it up. 
Yeah, very nice piece. One of the bigger ones, around 20 grams. <laughs> Big hole inside. Very pretty. The stuff. I will show you later. From this point onward, I started uh, catching a lot more amber than in the beginning. Maybe I just got used to seeing it in the debris, or maybe the waves were bringing new fresh amber from the sea. Who knows? It got dark enough so I could use UV light efficiently and if in the beginning I had problem that I didn't have amber because my eyes wasn't used to it, now I have the opposite problem. Now I have too many distractions, everything was shining gold. But human brains are quite scary though, they adjusted my vision and attention quite fast.
Okay guys, I know you can't see me, but I hope you can hear me. I, I'm having enough for today. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm cold, I'm going home to rest. When I will be home, I will show you what I managed to get today. So I wanted to make a summary of what I managed to find uh, this night when I was amber hunting with UV light. There it is. So I did manage to find some bigger pieces. Let's see. This piece, this piece, this one, this one, this one, and some of these. Quite big. Really happy with this one. So comparing to my uh, last biggest piece, as you can see, this one is bigger. So it makes it a new trip maker. Don't mind the mess in my room. It's a really small room I'm renting. I'm finding a lot of really black embers, like fill it with you know plant material. There is one really interesting piece somewhere in here. Basically, big chunk of tree bark and a little bit of ember on it. Ah, sad news is I did check every single piece for insects and there is like none, not even a single one. This is the piece. This is tree bark. Or not just tree bark, maybe a tree. And a little bit of amber on it. <laughs> I might try to polish this one, could be interesting. I'm not sure. So, yeah. We will be taking our box. We did gather some shells. And we will be. Filling our box with ember. So this is the end of part 4 and stay tuned for part 5, it will come after a week or so. If you managed to watch until the very end of the video, I'm guessing that you enjoyed this content, so I hope I will earn your like or maybe even a subscription, that will help me stay motivated to make more content like this. Thanks so much for watching and bye!